Take Nature's 47 here. <coughs> and welcome back to, well, well rather, rather, welcome to another Let's Play. This is the LucasArts game. Grim Fandango. Super fun. Super fun game. I like Sorry it very much. For the wait, Mr. Flores. Uh, got a lot I'm of dialogue right here. So. Take me? Take me where? No, no. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. <coughs> My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. <laughs> what journey? The four-year <coughs> journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Very Unless dangerous. you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports <coughs> car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or... If you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? <laughs> That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal hmm. rest, in four minutes actually. instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well. The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. <laughs> that compass and the handle would sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have Walking a great stick. trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until give I've worked a off lift. a little debt to the powers that be. The community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks, you said, <laughs> and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny, the boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you huh? about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. <coughs> Alright, so... Where do they get these guys? Uh, they don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell a, anything good. Can't I work off my time and I'm stuck. Venture, kinda. Stuck selling you, walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. You know, I need kind clients. of like... Uh, I need a real saint. Monkey I Island. A on a or rich, dead saint. The walking... The... Uh, Tietel games, any of those, really. You find items, items grant certain uh, things. You, you add them here. It's some sort of special work order. Two all agents. What's cool about this game too is that Don I guess because right, it's like a special edition, the remastered version, we actually have commentary. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. I love commentary. Too many dead to assign specific cases, features. so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hot <coughs> out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. I love pneumatic tubes. If you ever um read articles about old New York, there's a lot of stuff about how the tube system was... There was an inter-building tube system, too. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know how that could possibly work, and the tubes were 16 inches in diameter, yeah. and they would shoot pneumatic messages, like, they'd push them between buildings, and now those tubes are there, and they're, they're thinking about, like, using them for fiber optics and stuff like that. That's actually cool. Alright. So this was actually the, the art test I took. Oh, I had to make uh -huh. this whole scene in a day. Really? Yeah. No. <laughs> Did they pay you for that? What? <laughs> <laughs> Barely. <laughs> wow. I was so scared. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you get done? Oh, well, sorry. So this was the first was scene in the game that we ever actually did um, with some test assets. So I had, uh, this is when I was proving out, okay, yes, we can do this. Whee! It was this hallway scene. We had Manny up, running up and down. We had the security cam, kind of camera switching. We had text on the screen. We had animations. Animations. We had geolocation of the sound relative to the camera. The typing was down the hallway. 
and we had that's cool Manny riding up and down it was a really good test scene and it kind of put it came to at the very last second like literally like, i was compiling code as people ran in the room because i had a, a awful bug um but <laughs> this was sort of like proof that yes we have all the elements to make this work um, this was the the first scene ever put together. And Manny, notice in this scene, Manny hardly ever clips behind anything, and that's partially because I didn't have the buffers working yet. But it was good enough that when people saw it, like they were really impressed, and I was kind of surprised. You can do, like, okay, is it? It was kind of half-assing my way through this and somehow made everybody really impressed. So. Oh, At that yeah. point, I thought, okay, we can do Sorry. this. Sorry. Uh, that? There's a way. So this was the first... No, no, no. Stop it. Alright, I don't know how much of the commentary I'll do. Because it's kind of time consuming. And it's cool. I'll probably play it with commentary on later. Uh, you know, as that sort of thing runs. And I'll I'll, I'll do saves between if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself recordings. Out. So that we don't waste any time that way. Thanks. Gets the... Alright. Cards. Here we are. So we need to punch some holes Manny, in the cards. what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. We gotta go. Let's go down here first. See ya. We need to talk to Gladys. I like Gladys a lot. He's a cool dude. Go see. Hello. Hey. Service! Hey, who the? What's up, buddy? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect the sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. <laughs> I'm Calavera. Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, his driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, Domino wasn't that dick. nice? Nobody likes Domino, man. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I... <laughs> yes, you do. Gladys. Is that German name? Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead hmm. itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change oil and adjust there timing belts if no driving Arthur. jobs are open. You want to be my replacement driver? Be my replacement driver? Me? <laughs> oh, oh no! Can't rules. Come on. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. You're not cars too are big. Just too small. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey. That gives me an idea. Gladys I could alter your car just a dude. bit with just a quick torch job to let <laughs> That's out his eyes go all like, you know? like squinty I'm, on just one I'm side. I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work. I could lose my <clears throat> job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch yeah, anything yeah. bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign back in a snap. <laughs> yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. All right, buddy. What's what's actually really impressive about this game is during the time frame in which it was actually created, there weren't a lot of games that had this much voiced dialogue. Uh, which is is fantastic, really. Very good voice acting in this game. I am amused that it is uh, <coughs> like a Hispanic type. Since of I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Hey, 
what's going on. Back and practice. It's going down. It's going down. Practicing. Wow. Ring in your neck. Blah, blah, blah. Just me up Yeah, down. yeah. He gets all angsty at me. And I say, uh, Bet you can, can do, do cat. cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. <laughs> I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Okay, okay. cat. A cat. <laughs> no problem. Sweet. Uh, we're gonna get everything I need from this guy, and then we'll kind of go. Uh, My hey, I need another. I'm gonna do a dead worm. Hey, Basically, the dead worm is, is just an un, uninflated balloon. There's no Sweet. limit on those. That away. And My another kid died. Yeah, more, dead more dead worm. Well, sure. <coughs> Sweet. Okay. Now. With that, we're going to go. We have to climb up this little derpy rope thing. You gotta say, kudos to this dude. Super strong. Well, I guess if you're just just a skeleton with clothes, you know, there's probably not too much that's all mussed up. We'll do this final thing, and then we'll I would love to search Don's off. It looks like Don's rigged his computer. To Automatically answer his intercom. Okay, and like you can change it to a couple different ones, but we need it to be all cripes. Just sign it yourself. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, cripes, Ava! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Yeah. Sweet. There isn't anything in here. Nothing of, of particular interest, so really we're just going up there to do the the, the changing of the message. Okay. Now we are out of time, so until next time, Bumble Tuna.